Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Mare Overview. It's a new year and I wanted to change some things up. Normally if something new releases, I would do kind of like a video pretty much right after it drops on the store. In kind of like a chaotic manner. <laughs> pretty much zero organization. Because overviews for my channel is pretty much a bread and butter, I wanted to kinda elevate the video itself and create some sort of a structural first impressions of the experience. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna happen to every game that releases, because some games just release like a ninja, like dropping no trailers, no information, just pretty much Thursday evening you have a game <laughs> from out of nowhere. But on the games that will be releasing with a planned schedule, I'm gonna try to do like this pre-recorded intro to have a better understanding what's going on. <laughs> so today we have Mer. It seems like an adventure type of gameplay. Very much visually stunning from what I can see from the trailers and clips. Interestingly it's gonna be dropping with full quest to support like 90 hertz and stuff like that which is cool because then we have a separation between two headset versions and it's gonna perform way better on quest 2 then. It's a fresh IP it releases exclusively for quest and then it's gonna release kind of like later on with Rift. Some games did that in the past so that's not really a surprise. I think the direct comparisons to this game would be of course Moss because of the third person perspective and steering the virtual character throughout the world. For some reason I can sense like you know Prince of Persia 4 I think it was with this kind of like deserty environment or like mechanical creatures. It looks very fascinating. We do adventure games on this channel so I'm not very scared that I'm not gonna do a playthrough on it unless the gameplay will really suck ass but I don't think with this one. There is still no kind of price point revealed. I think it's gonna be like in between 20 and 30 euro for me. Similar style fashion to Moss or like Red Matter pretty much because it seemed high quality. One thing I'm worried it is, is definitely if the gameplay will be captivating enough to kind of make this game interesting because it seems all about the visual and sound design which is great. It's definitely something fresh for adventure genre for quest especially if we're talking about sound design. We don't really have that many titles with like you know insane soundtrack or like something that really stands out in that department. So we'll see, I'm excited nonetheless. And that was it, we will be pretty much doing uh, things in this style, short intro in the beginning, in the middle, the actual gameplay of the game and then kind of like my final thoughts at the end. So I want to kind of keep the skeleton like that and we'll see how it's gonna perform. I think it's gonna be less chaotic, less bullshit and just more enjoyable to watch I think. Here's the gameplay! So, knowing how third person games work, like we have flying in this game, I feel like I should pretty much just play this sitting down. Pretty sure. I guess that's how we start. <laughs> huh, okay. Where are we? Oh! And off we go, <laughs> I guess. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> I click some things on the controls but nothing really happens so I'm assuming I have to wait. Oh, he's coming! Oh. Whoa! So, I, I can press it. So we're jumping through those... 
something they can we can just pretty much jump so that's our I guess means of teleportation I assume it's not like free flying we're jumping from point to point okay too bad like the screen uh, goes black and then switches no options it seems like okay sure Ah, there. But the art style is pretty neat. Like that's kind of the first thing I see on Quest. It's like it's not cel shaded. It's like triangular, like moving kind of. Oh, I have to press longer. Like moving triangles, like very like it's hard to explain. <laughs> oh shit, something is behind me. Okay. Oh <laughs> incoming flying tube. <laughs> Next, attack, innocent tubes, <laughs> there, yeah, it's like the game is not guiding you, it's kind of like you have to go by intuition and just click on stuff <laughs> and see if what happens. More? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Catch them all. What is this exactly? Or maybe those are like some bombs or whatever? Okay, we can go there now. Now we have an army. Whoa. Attack! Um, we're losing. No! <laughs> it escaped. What now? Damn it. Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> you did. Oh, okay. Free flying now. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try. I don't know why. Um, shouldn't we go there? <laughs> It's a bit too early, I think. Oh, I guess we're done. <laughs> we're now. Run two. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> no, my birdie. What is this? Oh, okay. Teasing me game? <laughs> oh, we have a... Oh, maybe I guess this is the chapter selection. Maybe. So this is the first stage that we passed. Now... This? Huh. You really have to kinda trust your intuition what to do. But I, I don't mind it because that's like the style of the game. 
Come here. Yeah. Ma. <laughs> Oh, we have something in the air. We can go there, go there. Okay. This kind of like this old school type of gameplay where you point and then you go there. It's kind of like, I guess I wish I could free fly, but at the same time the game would not be less than one gigabyte. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, hello. Whoa! Oh. Oh, okay. Escape. Oh, she speaks. What? Hi! Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you're coming. So, is she gonna follow me? Yeah, okay, nice. Come on! <laughs> there are really no settings to do anything for some reason. Here's something, but... Can you pick? Oh! Okay! <laughs> yeah, we are gonna be waving to her, I can see. Hey! Mm, there. So we have to look around, I assume, and then if she can pick up things, then I think it's gonna be mandatory. Oh shit, she has to go there. Okay, good. Just keep climbing, I have time. <laughs> yeah, but I think we're gonna be playing more after this. Uh, this is just gonna be like the overview of that mechanics. Looks really intriguing, I must say. It's definitely one of those games that you play in sake of kind of finding out what's gonna happen. I really, I hope that it's like settings. I don't like this black out screen while switching the views, but yeah, I don't think there is any, but what is this? This is a map. I Wait, yeah, I think. Yeah, this is just <laughs> so like not guiding you by anything, which I'm glad it is basically the same as Journey of the Gods, kinda, because the, there was no narration, you were just doing what you think or like the level would guide you. I'm definitely more interested in playing this game for sure, but having no settings in the game feels weird, right? <laughs> like you can't really turn off the vignette that's going on, you can't turn off the screen flickering, but I guess that's the inherent design of the game itself, but I don't know. It's a little bit weird, but the gameplay itself is intriguing enough for me to play through of that, so yeah, see you soon! <laughs>